All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? All right, here we go, early round one. We talked about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The Olympic silver medalist Romero going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack here, man. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. There's no give on that leg kick. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. 25 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with that left hook. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice job by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking, but moving to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head movement. It's the athleticism of Yoel Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. Nice punch there by Romero. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic... Oh! He's hoping to serve him up. Go get him. Hip into that leg. Some kick. real power shots here. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart 
One guy got the finish. Probably go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Bing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yoel, soldier of God, Hunter. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so.